This week, the titans of big tech in Hollywood are meeting with a congressional delegation, and a big topic they'll be discussing is artificial intelligence. Companies like Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Disney are increasingly caught up in the escalating tensions with China. CEOs of all those companies will be meeting with the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party. Yes, that's actually the name of it. Some of these companies, like Disney, have been called out for caving to China's censorship rules in exchange for being allowed to do business there. This trip comes on the heels of lawmakers grilling TikTok CEO over concerns that China has access to user data. Some lawmakers are going as far as calling for an outright ban on TikTok. Joining us to break it all down is the host of On with Kara Swisher and the Pivot podcast with Scott Galloway. Kara Swisher herself, welcome. So happy Hi. to have you on the show. Congratulations on your new show. Thank you. The chairman of this committee with the longest name ever has said, mm -hmm. quote, we want to make sure that the power of the Chinese economy is not seducing certain companies into betraying mm -hmm. American values. Like what's going on here? Well, it, it's China, actually, so they can operate any way they want. But I mean, this is Mike Gallagher, correct? As yes. said that. Yes, it um, is. You know, they've been doing this for, for decades. This is not a new thing. They have been, China's been clamping down on movies since as uh, long as I can remember, 20, 30 years. And, uh, and so it's not a new fresh thing. It's just added because of the tech issues around TikTok and everything else. So everybody's calling attention to it. Before they they sort of let it pass and didn't do anything about it, but now because of this success of this app, which is super popular among uh, U.S. users, um, and they have 150 million users in this country, that this is what's gained their attention um, to try to figure out what to do. But there's been issues around technology for decades. AI is expected to dominate a lot of these meetings. Mm -hmm. um, just after 1,000 tech leaders, including Elon Musk, your friend mm -hmm. <laughs> or former friend, yeah. and Steve. Not a friend Wo ever. <laughs> yeah, not okay, okay. And Steve Wozniak <laughs> signed a yeah. letter calling for a six month pause on developing AI. You and Scott mm -hmm. Galloway on Pivot uh, warned that a ban on AI research here would just give mm -hmm. China and Russia a nice big advantage. Yeah, absolutely. I think the question is how they how are they going to regulate it from the get go as opposed to the internet, which they never regulated once. And so that's why we're seeing this big mess is because they never imposed any privacy uh, legislation, they never imposed any transparency legislation, they never did any antitrust legislation. And so I think the issue that we have is that just stopping it or deciding to slow it down is not going to work. It's not. It's not slowing down. It's go. It's developing. The question is what sh where should U.S. regulators be? early on in the process, which they never are because they never do anything. And then they, you know, they create weird little committees to, to agonize over what's happened. Well, so shouldn't that be something that the tech leaders are all pushing the congressional delegation when they all make this big trip out to California on? I mean, some sort of guidelines on this whole thing? Yes, I think they want that. The same thing, the, some of the more legitimate crypto people wanted that too, because they were worried about exactly what happened here, right. where, where there's no tra there's no transparency and there's no regulation. And so it's like the Wild West. And in AI, this is so quantumly more important and it's, you know, and it's in control of some very big companies. And so, uh, so that's the issue is it's going to be another situation where big companies get to decide how the rest of us, our society is going to go. And I think that's one of the the big issues of the early internet, which was paid for by the U.S. government. In this case, the government, this has been more private uh, uh, private development. I did a, an interview with um, Sam Altman of OpenAI, which yeah, has I been the for, for, forefront of this. And one of the things that was interesting is he's like, the government wouldn't give us money for this. In the old days, you know, government would have helped develop space or the early internet or all kinds of things. And now this is in the hands of big companies. And so the government has to get involved here and early on because it's going to be growing and it's going to be more powerful and it's going to in, be part of everybody's life for good and bad. And I don't mean to say it's all going to be bad. It's, some of it's going to be really helpful. Yes. And so we have to figure out what gets regulated what doesn't and how it's regulated. So they should they should they should go visit and talk to them about it. The question of whether they're going to do something, I, I'm dubious given their the record of legislators. Yeah. By the way, it's worth noting Sam Altman was one of the few leaders not to sign that letter last week calling for No, a well, pause. why would he? <laughs> yeah. Why would he? He's in the he's in the, yeah. he's the front of the line. Why yeah, would he? Exactly. These he's are like, people who are who are you know, Elon Musk actually was one of the original funders of OpenAI. And one of the reasons was it's because he was terrified of AI being in the hands of large companies. And in that regard, we agree quite a bit about that issue. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.